Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, November 6th. I'm Christy Matino. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise is defending cuts to the IRS in the House GOP's Israel aid bill. The House of Representatives voted last week in favor of a $14.3 billion aid package to Israel. Only 12 House Democrats voted in favor of the bill, while two Republicans voted against it. We passed a bill that addressed two problems that our Defense Department talks about. One, we need to get aid to Israel, and we do. But when our generals come and testify before committees like Armed Services, they say our debt is our biggest national threat. We addressed both in this bill, and we got a bipartisan vote. Despite Scalise's claim, estimates actually show that cut to the IRS wouldn't pay for the bill, Instead, it would increase the nation's debt over the course of a decade. That's according to a report from the Congressional Budget Office. Now, as for the future of this bill, well, the White House said that President Biden would veto it if it came to his desk. And House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer said around two dozen subpoenas for President Joe Biden will be issued in the near future. Comer says a lot of documents are set to be released this week related to things that don't quite match up with what Biden has said publicly regarding loans he has made. We're waiting on a few more uh, documents to come in that we've successfully subpoenaed, but it's taken forever. And, and again, Maria, I don't think the average person can imagine how many different checking accounts the president's son had. And considering he didn't have a legitimate business, Comer says the Oversight Committee has enough bank accounts to trace the money to show the Biden family has laundered money. Here's what he had to say. This was very organized. And the reason they did these, these uh, complicated transactions was to uh, disguise the source of the revenue and to deceive the IRS from paying taxes. And Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett is worried. Why? Well, she says voters' feelings will lead to a vote for Trump. She shared her concerns after a poll showing former President Donald Trump is beating Joe Biden in 2024. The poll shows Biden is lagging behind Trump in key states such as Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. Perception is reality. And so when you look at the data that was provided in this poll, it talks about how people feel. And so while the facts may not align with their feelings, their feelings are dictating their reality. Their reality is that they said that they feel better or they felt better when Trump was in office. Respondents in the poll gave Trump a 17-point advantage for his policies, which they claimed personally helped them. However, Crockett said celebrities and popular media who are supporting the former president are influencing voters and spreading misinformation. We've got some very popular African-American artists that are out here saying things like, oh, I got checks when Trump was in office. I want those checks again, not understanding that that really came from Congress. Thanks so much for joining us this morning on the Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.